Lucky Patel ITC Super Fuerte Maduro. Hey everybody, okay, and this is Cigar Vlog. So, that was a particularly long as hell name for a rather oddball brand from Rocky Patel that I keep seeing popping up in various uh, pages of catalogs and such. Let me get this trimmed. Wait. Let's take a quick look see here. We've got a nice, solidly huge double cap. But I keep seeing this pop up, and it's kind of one of those oddball Rocky Patel lines that you don't really find a whole lot of information about. You just see them pop up for yahoo hot. A price comparable to your typical Rocky lines. I don't know why I seem to be a little off kilter today. I'm trying not to light my hand on fire. But anyway, yeah, I don't know a whole lot about this cigar other than the fact that it's big, it's from Rocky Patel, and there's a good chance you might get a little bit of a nicotine bomb if you're not careful. Okay, so right off the get-go. Slightly sweet. A little spice. Not like spicy hot or anything, like pepper spice or anything, like just like, like baking spice. Very irritating bird. Okay, get away from this tree for a second here. I don't typically have a problem with birds until I start doing that. So far, basically, just kind of clean tobacco. You know, I mean, there's not really a whole lot going on just straight off the foot, but it's good. There's nothing really distinct about it, at least not yet. Well, I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down about the first inch and uh, see if something wakes up. Alright, so pretty decent fat inch or so in. So far, it's got a creamy quality to it. I want to say like a, almost like a marshmallow cream. So it's sweet, slightly floral. Clean tobacco. There's actually a lot going on in this particular cigar. There's a bunch of different flavors that you can probably end up picking out. <clears throat> Nothing's really going to be like in your face, like <clears throat> flavor, but there is going to be flavor there. A lot of flavor, a lot of different flavors. And trying to figure out which one is actually the star of the show is a little different, a little difficult. <sighs> I'm kind of weirded out today for some reason. But anyway. It's a little hot, it's a little humid, and for some reason, everybody and the brother's uncle, the second cousin twice removed, is like walking the dog, going for a bike ride, hanging out in the woods, showing up in the background of my video. For fuck's sake, people, go the hell away. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just that I get irritated when there's like so many people just like photo bombing the shit out of my video. Minor little pet peeve, anyway. This is one of the cigars that I'm not really getting any, like, definitive de facto personality to. I mean, it's there, but it's like... <clears throat> occasionally I end up making a, uh, a reference to, like, music. Whereas you'll have cigars that have a flavor profile similar to a rock concert, where you've got the rest of the band in the background, and there's that, and there's that one guitar solo that stands out. And then there's the cigars that are more like a symphony. 
where you got all these different components coming together to form one whole. That's pretty much this one right here. This is another symphony cigar. <sighs> yeah, it's just that weird kind of day where I'm just not really focused too good. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this down about the halfway point. I'm probably gonna yank the band because it's like huge and ridiculous. And uh, see if anything really stands out comes to the forefront here in the next mm, however long it takes to get to the halfway. Anyway, I'll catch up with you then. Okay, so Ash just decided to kerflop, and that's a pretty decent halfway point here. So, flavor so far, like I said, have been kind of a symphony. But uh, every so often, it kind of reminds me of like going through the art the artisanal soap section of a store. It, I'm not saying it tastes soapy because that's just weird. Uh, it's it's got a bunch of uh, like clean tobacco little breadiness, little floral sweetness, a little bit of baking spice. It's got a whole bunch of different things. I think everybody's going to probably get a little something different depending on how your particular palate is tuned. We're going to walk away from the bike path because everybody is out riding the bike, walking the dog, like I said before, which is no end of irritating. Anyway, it's like I keep saying, there's nothing that really stands out about this particular cigar. It's not a bad thing, but it kind of builds this uh, kind of overall impression. And this is definitely one of those cigars that the more you smoke it, the more the flavors actually build. Yeah, so far the flavors are there are good. It's just. Uh, they all kind of mixed together. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and burn this down to the nub and uh, see how it goes from there. As far as drink pairings, I want to say a stout ale, a uh, Russian Imperial stout, something like that. Or, you know, any kind of good whiskey, bourbon, something like that. Of course, if you want to, you can drink it with a strawberry milkshake, you know, or smoke it. Um, not anybody that actually drinks a cigar. Unless you're like very strange. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this down to that and see how it works out. Okie doke. Getting down to the nub here. The thing about Rocky Patel cigars, typically you can smoke them until they burn your fingers. And they uh, typically end up keeping a lot of flavor as opposed to just turning into hot tobacco. That said, every so often a cigar will tell you when you're done. Typically, ow means done. <laughs> so I was kind of noticing back about after the halfway point, there seemed to be a little bit of a transition to a little bit more of a coffee-ish note. Kind of. It's like I keep saying with this cigar, this is kind of one of those symphony deals where you've got all these different flavors that just kind of mix together to form one whole. Me personally, I find that a little annoying because, you know, it's like mm, nothing's really standing out. But that said, that's not a bad thing. <sighs> Flavors so far have been a little nondescript, but good. And tend to be kind of a mix of. Starts off with this kind of sweet, creamy, good clean tobacco. A little bit of baking spice. That baking spice kind of stays throughout the entire thing. About the halfway point, we end up getting a little bit of kind of a coffee-ish note. I think I could be off on that, but uh, I don't think so. And of course, once you get to the end, it does what every cigar does and ends up just turning into hot tobacco. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different flavors going on here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that everybody's going to pick out something a little different. So, what I taste versus what you taste could be actually totally different. Well, it should be too different. I mean, it's, you know, they make them the same way. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, definitely worth checking out. Especially if you like cigars that are uh, just going to kind of be there for a while and not get in the way of a good conversation. 
<sighs> That's it. I would definitely recommend uh, trying like a five pack instead of diving in head first with a full box because they not the most expensive, but they can get a little on the pricey side. That's just kind of Rocky Patel in general. <sighs> it is hot out here. And I'm standing in direct sunlight, so uh, yeah. <sighs> anyway, definitely worth, definitely worth checking out. Checking out with a good ale. I want to say maybe an India Pale Ale. Russian Imperial Stout. Good coffee, good whiskey. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't really think of anything else I'd want to pair this with. Anyway, not much else to say about it. Good cigar. But uh, kind of one of those deals that uh, if you like big, bold flavors that jump out and grab your tongue, probably not this one. If you like good cigars that uh, have good flavors all around and just kind of everything blends in nicely, then yeah, this would be right up your alley. Anyway, not much else to say about it. Uh, if you like this review or any of this, if you like, yeah, 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 yeah. if you like this review or any other review, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know if you've had a different experience. Also, check out my Twitch stream Sundays to Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Stop on by. Watch me uh, try not to get uh, blown up in Fallout 4, which is occasionally um, kind of random. <laughs> anyway. Whew. I'm going to wrap this up and uh, get on out of here and get some water because it is a little warm. <sighs> yeah, that's it. All right, I'll see you next time. <laughs>